Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be embarking on the next chapter of our life where we're going to be building a button. Now, I know you guys already know what a button is, something that a user can click. So you might be asking yourself, don't we have a button? It should be basic in React Native. And yeah, you're right. So what we have is um, a way you can specify like a title or a color and those, these are the props. But if we wanted to have maybe a loading indicator, if we are loading, or we when we disabled, we show it a different color. Also a red when we are going to delete. So those kind of things, we are going to need to create a custom one that we can quickly have a lot of control over. So here, before we get started, I noticed that my input doesn't really focus when I, when I click like here. So if we go to our text input, let's give it some background color to see what exactly is happening there. So let's make it red. Okay, so when you save it, you notice that it can only focus when I click where there's red. But if I clicked where there's no red, like here, it won't. So what we want to do is give it a width of 100%. So width, give it 100% and then save it. And you see that now that will go across and we can click anywhere and focus it. Okay, so let's get rid of the red. It's not necessary. And let's embark on our next journey of building a button. So to build a button, I'm going to copy and paste this and call it button i'm going to call it custom button because we have the component that's built in react native that's called button so we don't have conflicts with imports so here let's make sure we are exporting button so a button is a touchable so in react native we have the things called touchables so it's going to be a touchable so it can accept touch so touchable so one touchable opacity so touchable opacity basically when a user clicks on it they can see that uh, they they can see the visual change in the opacity so now that we have it let's go ahead and put it to use of course you're gonna come back and fix it properly so here we can have custom button custom button let's import it okay then save so when you save you see there's nothing happening here that's because we are not yet done so we want to be sending things like the title so the title let's say can be like submit Okay, then things like uh, the loading indicator. If we are loading, so loading equals for now, let's turn it to true. Okay, so let's also send a disabled one. So disabled, so for the disabled, let's say true for now. Okay, so when we go back, so let's remove all these other stuff because we don't need them. So remember we are passing the title, so we're going to expect it. So now we can say if we have a title, then show it over there. Then let's get it as props. So I'm going to be getting the title like this, the disabled, then the loading. Okay, so let's save. So now that we have that, you will see that it's going to come in here and give us the title. So you see we have the, the submit being added here. So let's style it more. We want the user to also be able to pass something like primary, secondary, or danger to get the different types of buttons. So here, first off, let's put the disabled prop to use. So we're going to say if a user passes disabled, then disable this. We need to work with the background color. So I'm going to use this syntax to combine styles. Then I'm going to define a background color for our button. So we have a method called get background color. So let's create it over here. Let's actually use that. So is it going to be passing in things like secondary, primary, etc. Let's pass secondary as prop. Let's also pass primary. Let's also pass danger. Let's put a comma there. Now here we can say if it's primary, then return primary. If it is danger, then return danger. Then let's also have another if. So if it is secondary, then return secondary. All right, so I'm gonna save this. Now for now we are not passing any of this, but if we came to our login and passed, let's say, secondary here and save you notice that it's secondary so for the most part you're going to need to have let's say white text for the submit 
so also when it's disabled we don't want to have this to have this here so before we actually bring so before we actually return the color the corresponding color we want to first check if the disabled is true so you can say if disabled if disabled then we want to return the gray one so return colors with gray okay so you see that now when it's disabled the text color is going to to be to still be black so i'm gonna come here and also style this title so i'm gonna have a style so the style here i'm going to to specify a color and then for the color we are going to check if it's disabled then we return black so this should not be like this if it's disabled then we return black otherwise we return white not disabled so it should be colors.white then save it okay so also we want this text to really be in the center and then we also want these buttons to have some some rounded borders and corners so the easiest way you can do that is go to this so i'm going to change this one to be wrapper then we need to clean up these tiles because they are not really practical so for the height i believe the height is going to keep the same as the for the input which will, i think will be good so let's remove this other stuff we need the padding horizontal good fine okay so we need the margin we need the margin so the margin let me use the margin vertical here so we can get it on top and bottom also make sure we are saving here okay so let's have a border radius so here we can have a border radius let's also have a four save it and we have some border so let's align things in the center by aligning items so align items center because we want the text to go in the center also we really would want it to go here so what you can do is let's first do justify content so for the justify content there's one called space space evenly so space evenly so what that's gonna do is it's going to put things evenly so it's gonna leave the same space here the same on top and on bottom which centers it the way we want it to do okay so it looks good to me now this is not really clickable but so we need to have the on press here so if we press on press so on press is going to be equal to the the on press that the user passes in pass the on press to so these props i don't think we are going to need them we don't need the forecast okay so for now let me not first pass actually let's do this let's duplicate these and pass different props so for the second one i'm going to say click me then loading is gonna be false here and then it's not gonna be disabled in fact it's gonna be secondary okay then this let's make it primary then this let's make it danger just to make sure that our buttons are good so let's remove these styles over here okay so when we pass a loading prop we want it to load so we're gonna come here onto our button which is right here so when we pass loading instead of us only having the text we are going to have a view here so the view this view is going to contain an activity indicator so what an activity indicator is it's basically it's basically a component that can show the loading if you guys know of spinners so when we add it we need to bring this one inside this view just so we can control how it's looking and save so what we need to do is give it some colors so for the activity indicator it should only show when we are loading so we can come in and say if loading then show it okay so it's still not showing but if it is you see that it is leaving a space on the top so what we want is to have the things go left to right we need to have a style here so specify a style so the style we can get it from we're going to create it let's say loader section then let's create it. it should be styles 
So if you come here, we can say, okay, load a section. We need a flex direction of row. So we can go left to right. So when we save, you see, they go left to right. Now we are not seeing it yet. That's because we need to specify a color. So here we can say, okay, let's say we want to give it a color. So for the color, for now, I'm just going to use let's say a gray one so colors dot uh, or maybe a primary one it should be colors and save so when we save you notice that it's it loads okay so looking good so when it's loading we might need to add some padding on the right of this text so we can do that of course you already know we can say maybe padding left padding on the left then we say if it's loading if it's loading then add five if it's not at zero and save and you see that now it's good of course when we send this and the the color is primary so let's say we came here on the login and we said it's loading and then the button color was primary so for example right here where we are sending primary yeah we are not able to see that it's loading that's because the background is also primary so we need to check if it's primary then we use a different one and if it's not primary we use a primary one for the loader so that should be simple so we can quickly come here and then instead of us saying primary here we can say okay if primary is true then maybe we use let's say let's use the secondary one so i'm gonna go to the second one and also pass the loading because that's that will be where we see it properly and yeah so you can see that now it's looking good so these are gonna be the buttons we work with for now so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you in the next video thanks for watching bye